I'm Dr. Martha Galati. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of CardioSmart at the American College of Cardiology. So I'm here to talk about the Reduce It trial that's being presented at the American Heart Association. Uh, important study looking at the role of prescription fish oil essentially in terms of reducing cardiovascular events. It was generally a high risk population. I mean 70% of the population were people who already had cardiovascular disease. So it wasn't really a primary prevention study. But what they found was that there was a 25% reduction in, uh, in events. Um, of meeting their primary endpoint for those who are on the treatment arm compared to those on placebo. Interestingly though that they did see in the placebo arm an increase in the LDL in that group and it may have been perhaps some of that could be attributed to the formulation of the placebo which was a mineral oil capsule. But still I don't think that explains entirely the difference seeing this pretty impactful 25% reduction in events is, is hard to not be impressed with. So the top takeaways I think from Reduce It are this. In people with elevated triglycerides, in the, those who are categorized in the high triglyceride group, which is really 150 to 499, if you, do we treat them all? Are, should we only treat those people with cardiovascular disease? This study suggested those were the people that got the greatest benefit when it was in the secondary prevention group. So I think that you know we need more discussions and more studies, but I think that this study is certainly on track to, go, to change our clinical practice. I think there is still a lot of questions though, because there were the group that we didn't have a lot of answers for were women. First of all, this was a predominantly Caucasian population and a predominantly male population. And when they stratified by sex, we didn't see the same benefit in women as we saw in men. And so I still have some concerns if we would use this in everyone, because for women, my concern always is with fish oil, there may be a higher risk of bleeding, as was seen in this study. But when you don't have benefit in women, you always wonder women tend to have more bleeding issues. So I, again, important study, profound effect helps us know that there might be a potential treatment for this high triglyceride group, but um, still some populations that we don't have answers completely for. So this, in patients who have cardiovascular disease with high, elevated triglycerides, in the high triglyceride group, I think there it would be very worthwhile to be, first of all, looking at the triglycerides instead of just ignoring it and making a decision with the patient about whether using fish oil would be beneficial. And I think that would be where this study will play into our clinical practice.